Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry this video is taking me so long to get around to doing. So I'm eventually doing my parasol, which will be from Sephora and Disneyland Paris. Um, by the time you've seen this video, it'll probably be like three weeks since I've come back from Paris. But I have got, I've got three excuses to why this took so long to get around to doing. Number one is I've been so busy with work, I've been to Wales working, I've just been everywhere, it's been crazy. Second of all is my memory card and my camera ran done so I had to go out and buy a new one. That. Third thing was I also ordered a few wee bits of makeup not from Sephora so I wanted to wait until that arrived and then include it in this video just so you've got other things to see as well. So yes, without further ado, this will probably be a long video because I'm already guessing it to be honest because I have got a lot. I don't even know if you can see in there. There's a lot, I think I've found, so there's like 14 makeup items. Oopsies! Um, so yeah, let's get on with this video. Right, so my thought process of how I'm going to do this is I'm going to show the stuff that I got in Sephora and then I'm going to show the makeup that I bought when I got back home practically. So I'll keep all the makeup there and I'll do Disneyland. Okay. So the first thing, well, in Sephora, Actually, if you've watched my vlog from Paris, you'll see my reaction to going into Sephora. That was my first time um, and it was unreal. Like, it's so overwhelming. That was the word I kept using. It was so overwhelming. There was so much makeup. And, like, I went in with some ideas what I wanted, but literally hardly got any things that I wanted, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. But I'm going back. I'm going to America in July, so I'll be making sure I know what to buy in Sephora for then. Um... I had probably about 400 euros worth in my basket when I'm up to till and my friend Amy was like you need to put some stuff back like you don't need it so I was like okay looking back I kind of wish I got some of the stuff that I put back but I only spent 153 euros which to be I think is okay to be honest um 153 euros and then I, the makeup that I bought and I came back oh my god okay I've spent a lot of money on makeup recently but it's fine I'm a makeup artist <laughs> Sister Colin. Hello. About that. Um, right, the first things that I bought up, I bought was these skin masks, face masks. Um, I'm quite a big skincare freak. I do like to spend money on skincare. I like to try new things. Um, so these were quite inexpensive. These are Sephora own brand uh, face masks. This is the Pearl one for brightening. And I've got the pomegranate for anti-fatigue. These are just nice and quick to do. I like to try and do one maybe once a week if I can. And these were are 4 95 each. So they were really, really good value to be honest. So we shall try them out. I also got one of the lip masks. The Shia lip mask for protecting and repairing. And this was one ninety five. So I mean they are such good values. And I can't wait to try them. Next thing I got was... This is probably my most expensive and I'm kind of going to say it's like a first impression as well because I have used some of these things. As you can tell I've like ripped till I don't. But this is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturiser. Now I've heard so much stuff about this online. If you've if MD ever watches Nikki tutorials then she loves this. And I have tried the Glam Glow face mask. Face mask that's something I'm trying to say. I've tried them and I absolutely love them. And this I've just heard so much about because I still feel like my skin's like good but I still feel like it gets quite dry. So for this, I wouldn't wear this like as a moisturiser going to bed or something but for under your makeup, like a primer kind of thing, um, then this will be dead nice. And it's in the colour Nude Glow. It looks like this. It's really pretty. Um, yeah. I'm going to just watch this everything anyway beside this probably so... There we go. You probably cannot tell in camera. There we go. It's like really illuminising. And I have put this, I've used this like twice now, put it on today as well. And it's unreal. Like, I just look so glowy. And I'm loving it. This is my most expensive thing that I bought. This was 50 euros. But. I have got really high hopes for it and you get a lot in it as well so yeah you literally need a wee bit goes so far and I'm only wearing it when I wear makeup to be honest. 
So yeah, loving this. Next thing I got was, I don't really know why I bought this one because you can get NARS here. It is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. It is a new liquid lipstick to be honest. Um, I've just seen the counter when we were passing and this look so pretty because I haven't really heard much about them. They're pretty new but the packaging is so nice. And this is in the colour Walk This Way. I have this on today but I have something on top of it so I'll show you them at. And it's so nice. I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks. Um, I like this little applicator as well in it. It's like a sponge applicator but it's really thin and like straight. It's a weird one but put it on today for the first time and I'm loving it. It's so not drying. And then I always like to put a gloss on top so there's that as well but such a pretty colour. I am loving this. This was... 27, 27 euros this was, um, so yeah, love this, NARS is one of my favourite brands, like I love them, and I've not really tried anything from their lips actually, so yeah, I'm excited to use this Next again. Next thing from Sephora is, um, right, okay, there should be a better thing, so obviously one of the most anticipated collab, no not collabs, like beauty range to come out, makeup range that was launching was the Fenty Beauty obviously by Rihanna and it launched the day before we were in Paris so to be honest in my head I was expecting a lot of stuff to sell out anyway by the time we got there but I was so excited for this like it's been a while since I've got excited for like a new makeup brand launching or like a collab or something like but Rihanna I love her she's so beautiful her makeup is always amazing if you don't need to follow her makeup artist she's called Priscilla Ono She's amazing. Um, so yeah, which I went into the store and there was only there was hard length and left, which I expected anyway. So I managed to pick up the Fenty Beauty, the lip gloss and Fenty Glow. It's a universal lip luminizer, it's called. But to be fair, I've heard so much um not mixed reviews, but it's a lip gloss at the end of the day. It's not I, I don't see what amazing things it's gonna do. But it is such a beautiful colour. It's like a neutral bronzy gloss. The smell of it just smells like vanilla. Oh my god, it's so good. Um, yeah, but it's like such a big wound as well. Um, really, really big doe foot applicator. So yeah. I've actually not tried this yet, but I love a lip gloss. Love it and bronzy, so I am sure that will be amazing. So that was that. My last makeup things from Sephora, like I feel like I hardly bought anything, but yeah. So these are the, the best things that I bought to be honest myself. So I am a big, the biggest fan of Huda Beauty, like I love her stuff so much. Um, I have tried her highlighters, her lip liners, her eyelashes which I love. I use our rose gold eyeshadow palette like, all the time on my clients. It's amazing. Um, and I've seen she came out with new lip strobes. These little things. Um, the Huda Beauty lip strobes. And when I was there, I was like swatching them all. Again, I see my vlog if you want to see it. Um, I swatched them all and I fell in love with three colours. And I was like to myself, they were, how much were they again? Let me see. They were 20 euros. 20 euros each, which I actually think is not bad to be honest. Um, and I was like, I love all three of them. Did I buy one? Did I buy two? Did I buy three? And got all three, didn't I? So 60 euros worth of things. But these are so beautiful. This is what I've got on right now. I've got on the NARS liquid lipstick and then this. Um, what one have I got on actually? I've got on Snobby. I'm going to show you the three colours, what it looks like. Why is this not focusing? Please, focus. They don't really smell much as well. Um, but what they are practically is, you're, they're, you can wear them by themselves, but they're, ten, they're meant to kind of be worn over a lipstick to like change the colour um, of it and give it a more like metallic -y, unicorn look kind of thing I feel because the one that I got this one as well it's like it looks really white but it's like 
holographic iridescent. It's so amazing. This looks amazing over a dark lipstick. I've already tried that. Um, yeah. So I got that one was enchanting the white, whitey looking one. I got snobby the pink one. And then I also got this was the one that I was kind of on the fence about, but I was like, I'm going to make it work. Bougie. bougie. I was like, I could not spell that. Bougie. Um, it's straight up like a burnt orange. Now, anybody that knows me knows I love a good orange, a warm colour, anything. This is straight up orange. But I was playing about with it um, and it looks really nice over like a nude lipstick or like a brownier tone one. Um, so yeah, I am in love with these. I can't wait to wear them again. Might put one in my kit. We'll see. So that was everything from Sephora. So yeah, 130 130 153 euros I spent. Moving on to the makeup that I ordered when I came home. Um obviously I had to order more of the Fenty Beauty stuff because I was dying to try it and I, I had to get it practically. So in the UK you get it from a shop called Harvey Nichols in Edinburgh but I just ordered it online. So that's why it took a little bit longer to come. They literally arrived yesterday. Um, so yeah, and I've already swatched these and Rihanna has just like killed it with this to be honest. So I got two highlighters and the packaging is so beautiful. I'm loving it. I got two highlighters. I, the first one I got was Metal Moon, which I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. Um, but I wanted to buy a highlighter for like my skin tone. As MD knows, I'm the palest of the palest. Um, so this is what it looks like. Really cute and like, is this an octagon, hexagon? I don't know, but it's really, and it's kind of like holographic as well. It's so pretty. Um, but yeah, this literally looks straight up white in the camera. But I promise you, when you see the swatch, it is very shimmery. And yeah, I'm loving it. I wouldn't say that this one is the most like shabam in your face kind of highlighter. But it's definitely an everyday highlighter, which I still like, to be honest. I feel like it looks quite, looks nice, I feel. Um, it's not chunky, it's like an actual glow, I'd say. So I am loving, literally loving that for myself. Wait for it, wait for this one though. So, obviously, I had to get the star of the show, Trophy Wife, which is the one that everybody has been talking about. Now, I... When this arrived yesterday, I was so hoping to myself, I was like, please don't be disappointing. Like, I really, really want to love this. Um, it's clearly not wearable for myself, since I'm, like, Casper the Ghost. But I am quite lucky that I do a lot of, like, dark um, dark skin clients as well, because I do a lot of pageant makeup. So I get to see a lot of different girls, and this is going to look so beautiful on darker skin tones. But, like, wait... Cover this mirror. Yep. Mm hmm. Um, in love. Um, I also seen Rihanna's makeup artist use this as an eyeliner. She mixed it with a bit of water. So I think that's what I'm going to maybe go do myself, use it as an eyeshadow. But I mean, like, I'm just going to swatch it here as well. Oh, like, actually, it is incredible. Like, this, I don't want to use the word glittery because I don't really like glittery highlighters, but it is a bit more like that. Insane. Like I think these were, I might just be lying, oh, I don't even have the price side me, I think they're like £26 um, pounds each or something. 26 maybe 27 something, something around that price anyway. But totally worth it, like that is incredible. Um, and then I also got another thing from Fenty Beauty which was the matchsticks that she came out with. If I can open it. There we go. Um, the matchsticks, which it's just a shimmer skin skin stick. It's saying highlight, blush, and enhance. Long wear, light as air for layering. So I got the color in confetti, which I real after this I swatched this again yesterday when I first seen it. Cause I couldn't get myself. Um, it is like a lilacy, purpley color. Um, the pattern is really cool as well. Like, and I know that if I get more, they're magnetic, which is quite cool, I think. 
Um, it just says Fenty Beauty down the side, but I'm sure you'll see in the swatch. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm going to try and make it work to be quite wearable. If you just like pat it on the top of your cheeks for like a really, really pretty highlighter. Um, I know you can use this as eyeshadow. I know you can put it on your lips. I've seen that before. I so, honestly, it took me like a long time to get excited about a new makeup product. This was definitely the highlight of the year anyway for in the beauty industry. Fenty Beauty launch. So that is amazing. Also, actually, when I was on Harvey Nichols as well, I also ordered these because I seen them. I knew this was coming out. It was the L'Oreal collaboration with Balmain, the designer. And I wasn't going to get anything, but just I seen it on the side of the Harvey Nichols website. So I was like, you know what? I'll buy one. And I also said to myself, I'll treat my sister and I'll buy her one too. And for a L'Oreal lipstick, I think it was twelve ninety nine, which is pretty steep for a drugstore lipstick I'm seeing. Um, and the colour I got was Confidence. Now, online this looked like a really nice nude pink, but it looked really pigmented. Um, it came, and I've already swatched this as well. Such a letdown, like, honestly. Like, you need to build this up so much. Like, literally I'm getting nothing. Nothing. Um, yeah. It really just looks really wishy-washy, like, not impressed by this. So, £12.99 for this lipstick, which I probably ain't going to use. So, we have that. Nice back, you know, I mean, the phone again. Um, It's really nice packaging, though, so, I mean, that's worth it, isn't it? I also ordered a NARS lip gloss, which, as I said in my last bit, I've never tried the NARS lip glosses, but... I don't know why I kind of ordered this, it was just kind of a spur of the moment thing that I've seen um, and it's one of the probably the most famous lip glosses I feel ever to be honest. It's the NARS Turkish Delight which is like such a pretty baby pink colour. I love NARS packaging so it's so sleek and like all matte black. Um, it's like a nice baby pink and this was kind of made famous by Kim Kardashian, she used to wear this all the time back years ago. Um, I don't know why I bought this, it was just kind of a random thing. But I know that I love it anyway because I love lip gloss and this over any nude is going to look so pretty. So I'm excited to try this. Two things left for the makeup wise. Um, I, God, I've really spilt a lot of lip stuff that I bought. I feel like I've done this because I've got so many eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes everything eyeliners like that I don't really need there's not something that has came out at the minute that I'm like desperate to try but lips I feel like I can never have enough it's always nude that I normally go for but I went and got this wee guy um it is by the brand Charlotte Tilbury it is their matte revolution lipsticks I love Charlotte Tilbury it's such an ex expensive brand but for me I say everything's totally worth it what I've bought already because like I always use our bronzer um bronze or eyeshadow palettes like everything um so yeah i seen this on their instagram now this is like brave for me because everybody's always telling me how i should try like a dark red or like a red lipstick again because they think i suit it so i went and caved in and i got this like bright red it is red carpet ready it's called and um it's so pretty though like, it's so pretty. So, i seen Charlotte Tilbury used this on Emma Roberts at the Met Gala, I think it was. And so, that's where i seen it and it looked amazing on her. So, I'm going to give it a bash and we'll see. You might see me red lips soon, who knows. Um, but yeah, so, got that little lipstick. And my last thing I got is also from Charlotte Tilbury, which is extortionate as well. I can't really, I don't even want to think about what I paid for this. Um... This I got, well I've been looking at this product for, I'd say over a year, like anyway over a year easily. And what it is, I'm always looking for, because I do pageants and I do a lot of photo shoots, like I want like a body bronzer or something, like something easier, because I'm always standing there like putting highlighter on, like dry highlighter kind of thing. Um, and so I kind of want like a body oil, a body bronzer, something like that. And I've always known that Charlotte Tilbury done her body bronzer. Um, called Supermodel Body and this this is £50 as well um, which is crazy money to spend on 
a body bronzer if I don't I'm not going to use it that often to be honest literally for special photo shoots and like pageants that I do um but I knew I had oh, I was at Wales last week doing a photo shoot and I knew that my model was going to be in a bikini and stuff so I wanted it to look really glowy and stuff and I was like stuff it I'm going to cave in and buy it so yeah it is supermodel body it looks like this it's kind of quite sad, you only get 60ml, which I don't feel like it's a bit, like, a lot compared to when I was putting it on, model in Wales. It's so beautiful on, like, it looks like a natural glow and not, like, shimmery, glittery again, so I'm saying it was, like, an actual glow. Um, but, like, I was putting it everywhere, like, her body, like, her arms, like, neck area, legs, everywhere, and I just, I'm like, this is going to run done really fast. So we shall see, but I'm excited. I'm doing pageants. I'm off to Blackpool in October to do a pageant, so I'll be using this on some of my girls. Um, so yeah, but definitely worth the money anyway. Like it was so beautiful on the skin. I just kind of wish it was more in it for the price. But Charlotte Tilbury is amazing. She knows how to do it. So yeah, so that is all from the makeup front. So if you want me to do any tutorials with anything or an in-depth review on the products I mean because I've literally like swatched and maybe wore like a couple of lip products like once I've not really done much looks with them um let me know oh now that the makeup's done we're going to move on to one of the other very exciting bits of my Paris trip was when we went to Disneyland now we were only in Paris for two days two days and a quarter to be honest I want to say so we didn't really do anything in the last day um, but the one day we went to Disneyland and I mean that's my first time going to Disneyland as well oh my god it was incredible um, I could have spent a lot more money as well here which I feel like I was starting to like buy things that I didn't need but I was like when am I ever going to be back at Disneyland Paris anytime soon to be honest so I'm going to show you what I got first thing clearly when you go to Disneyland you need to get the ears um, there was so much choice, but like my sister, I'm going to show you my sisters. My sister got the silver, oh, she lots of hair stuck to it. Um, she got the silver sparkly ones. But I was getting in the mood just to go for the classic mini, to be honest. Wait, I want to put them on for this video. Oh, I feel like I'm back here. I love them so much. Oh, this tag, I need to cut off the tag, tuck that in for a bit. Wait. There we go. I'm just going to keep these on now for doing this bit. So I got the ears, which was an essential point of Disneyland. Um, the next thing that I bought was, I'm a key ring junkie as well. Like I like, every concert I go to, everywhere I go on holiday, everywhere I go a trip practically away from Glasgow, I always normally get a key ring. So I had to get this key ring, which is really cute. It's a Disneyland Paris one and it's got a wee Eiffel Tower on it. And it's got little mini mouse and a wee red love heart. So I thought that was dead cute. So yeah, it's kind of got everything on the one, the Eiffel Tower and mini mouse and stuff. So yeah, got that. Um, I'm not. I don't really know if I include this to be honest. It's the pawn show that we had to buy because when we went to Disneyland Paris, it was chucking it down. It was pouring it in like practically the full day so we kind of just made the most of it and we got the poncho these were like 10 euros which the best 10 euros we ever spent because we would have got absolutely soaking wet if it wasn't for these so yeah don't know what I'm going to do it anytime soon but keep it for the memorabilia eh? so got the poncho um, when I don't even know what part I think we were just at the Magic Kingdom part there was a Christmas Disney shop like that is the best combination ever Disney and Christmas mixed together. Um, so we went in and a tradition in our family as well is we always buy a new Christmas bubble for the tree every year. So I thought this will be the bubble this year. Oh my god. I'm so excited to put this up already. It's a glittery rose gold Mickey Mouse um, ears. Love them. Like, how much was this? Nine euros. Um, so yeah, actually loving this. Cannot wait to put it up. Um, two more things that I got, which this was a bit unnecessary as well, but you know, I got one of these plastic bag things. And when we were there at Disneyland Paris, it's the 25 year anniversary this year. So 
three bag three bag got 25 euro on it and like lots of the characters and it's and got the, the castle on the back now i'll probably just keep this in the room to store things or like I don't know, get my mum to do food shopping, like, I don't know, <laughs> but I just thought it will probably come in handy, maybe when I'm travelling as well, it just keeps stuff in, um, so yeah, we'll see what I use this for, um, last thing that I got, which is the best thing, as per usual, Disney always have the best mugs, don't they, so, it is so big, like, I'm so in love, it's all glittery here, it's got Mickey and Minnie, oh, goofy, like it's so cute, and the Eiffel Tower as well, which is good. So yeah, I've been waiting for this video to film this so I can drink out of it. I love getting a new mug quite often, so yeah, I'm loving it. This one, this is thirteen euros, which I actually thought was not bad because all the other mugs were there were like seventeen, eighteen, and they were like so smaller as well. So I was like, for this size, the one for twelve ninety nine, I thought that was no bad. Um, so yeah, I am excited to drink out of this. That's it. Oh, that came to the end. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed looking at what I got from my wee Paris trip and some of the other makeup goodies that I got when I came back. Um, if there is any other videos that you want me to film like using the products or something then let me know and also if you want you can go watch my trip at Paris and my Paris vlog which is up on my channel um, so you can see what we got up to there. honestly Paris was one of the best trips I've ever been on like it was so beautiful um, we're only for two and a bit days and it went so quick that I'm already trying to plan my next trip to Paris it was insane because we want to go do more of the stuff like the Louvre, the Notre Dame Cathedral, everything like that. But it was amazing. I had the best trip ever. Like, honestly, Disneyland, the Eiffel Tower, Sephora in general was amazing. So, I hope that you guys have enjoyed looking at what I got and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys! Every time I try to sit down and film something has to come. Still going. Eventually stopped. Probably so. I'm so struggling. There we go. There's never a minute I'm not working. Okay, back to another change. So, oh, let me fly. Oh, get away. Okay, it's an repairing. So, mm, there is a fly, man. Jeez, like, I think it's away.